I'm just gonna say it, Sword and Shield look awesome. The open world, the Dynamaxing, the Wulu, but we still haven't seen anything about the inevitable anime series. So I've decided to throw in my wild predictions on what Ash's Galar region team will be. And disclaimer, I am often wrong, probably more than I'm right. So if my predictions based on the two Gen 8 directs we've gotten end up being incorrect, I would not be surprised. I'm not gonna lie and say my uncle worked for Nintendo and gave me insider info, so you should all totally trust what I say. And also Cat Noir is coming to Smash. And I'm not getting any hints from Showpro either. I don't think they like me very much. But here's my predictions on Ash Ketchum's Galar team. Pikachu's not going anywhere, that's pretty much a given. So let's appropriately start at the starters. Ash has always used at least one starter Pokemon from each region. And if I had to choose one from Galar, it would definitely be Scorbunny. No, I'm not just saying that because Scorbunny's my personal choice, although it is. And also not because I'm secretly a furry, which is debatable. But rather because Scorbunny's official page refers to it as, quote, a rabbit Pokemon that is always running around, bursting with energy. Now honestly, that just sounds like a perfect description of Ash. The bursting with energy part anyway, not the whole being a rabbit part. I think Scorbunny will end up being the only starter on Ash's team, as Ash has never had just the fire type. However, all of Ash's teams do contain a fire, water, grass, and flying type. Okay, he doesn't have a water type in Alola, but Sun and Moon is very different from all the other series. So let's start with a water type, and personally, I would love to see Ash own a Dredna. Its water rock typing could provide good coverage, and I could easily see it becoming the powerhouse of Ash's team. Dreadnought's page also says that it's hard to tame, and trainers will often release it. This sounds exactly like something Ash would try to overcome, and could act as a temporary subplot to the anime. Now for a grass type, I think Gossifleur would be a good pick. Gossifleur has what is probably my favorite design of any Gen 8 Pokemon we've seen so far, and honestly, it just looks like something Ash would own. I'm not as big a fan of its evolved form Eldegoss, but I'm 99% sure this isn't its final form. I mean, those seeds definitely have to grow into something besides just, you know, big. And for the flying type, the only one we've actually seen so far has been Corviknight, but I could definitely see it on Ash's team. This is the Pokemon that I would most want to see Ash Dynamax, especially if it were up against another giant bird. And the fact that it's a raven made out of metal is just awesome. It's like Skarmory's way cooler second cousin. Okay, that was a weird comparison. Now we've got one spot left, but honestly, I don't think the spot will go to a Gen 8 Pokemon. Sorry, Wooloo. Instead, I think Ash will bring back and continue to train a Pokemon from one of his past journeys, similar to how he brought back Fampi in the Hoenn region, where it later evolved into Donphan. Since we're probably going to see Gen 4 remakes this generation, I think this Pokemon should definitely be from the Sinnoh region. And the obvious choice would have to be Gibble. It was the Pokemon Ash caught last in the Sinnoh region, just like Fampi and Johto, and has yet to evolve past its base form. Could you imagine how cool it would be if Ash had a Garchomp? Not only that, Ash's Gibble is surprisingly powerful for only having a stat total of 300. In the Sinnoh League, Gibble not only defeated Conway's Dust Noir, but even managed to hold its own for a while against Tobias's Darkrai. And any Pokemon that can even land a hit on a Darkrai has got to be worth something. So those are my extremely early predictions on Ash's Galar team, but I'd love to hear yours as well, so let me know in the comments. I'm really excited because I was just approved for monetization and I'm planning a lot of new videos. So remember to subscribe and hit the bell so you never miss an upload. Thanks for watching and remember, Wulu is a precious being that must be protected at all costs.